Darren, a bit of a game of two halves there, but ultimately having to come away with the three points. Yeah, I mean, the, the pluses and the positives are two very good goals, a clean sheet and a, and a, and a much better improved performance in the second half. Um, but still not still not happy, really, with the performance. You know, we didn't play very well in the first half, moved the ball too slow, not enough movement up front. Took us 29, 30 minutes to get our first shot. Um, and then Wes had a couple of back-to-back -back shots after about 30, 31 minutes. But, you know, for a, for a home team, you need to come out the blocks quicker than that and, and start better than we did play with a bit more urgency so I was disappointed and I, and I told them at half time uh, in my opinion could have taken any one of the front four off um, in the in, in at half time because they weren't doing enough for the team so I was disappointed at half time but then we got a we, we got an improved performance in the second half but still still a long way off our capabilities tonight but you know what I've what I've said to them after the game is you know, a sign of a good side and a, and a side, a sign of a, a team, you know, that is that wants to get promoted is winning when you're not at your best, and that's what we've managed to do tonight. You introduced Alfie Pavey at half time. How big a factor did he play in going on to get that result? Yeah, I mean, he, he showed straight away first couple of touches. You know, powerful headers and real presence up there. You know, once he learns a bit more about how we operate and how we like to play. You know, he'll get better and better the more he settles in. He obviously hasn't trained with us. Yesterday was signing and medicals and whatever, so I felt it was better for him to come from the bench tonight. But, you know, he'll get better and he, 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 he was a physical presence up there. Boys have got to learn around him that he wants balls in the box, so, you know, we, we've, got that, we've got that attribute in us now that, you know, more balls in the box and he'll get a few headed goals and... You know, he, he, he did well when he came on, but you know, I, I, I do expect him to do more once he settles in. He'll expect that of himself, and you know, but it, it will take a period of time for him to get used to his new teammates. But he'll be fine. He can be, he can go home happy. Yeah, from Mason Clark back on the score sheet this evening. Do you feel like that's the spark that he might need to go on and put in some more performances like he did today? Yeah, it's funny with F. I love him to bits. I think he's he's an excellent, excellent player. Um, he's got a really big future in front of him. What he's what he's having to deal with this season is last season he was the surprise package to a lot of people, and now people see him as a huge threat. <clears throat> so he's got to come up with uh, with with being a marked man. You know he's got to find the tools, and we're helping him with the tools of how to impact the game different now you're a, now you're a mark man a lot of, you, I hear a lot of people say you know stop Mason Clark and and you'll stop Barnet and whatever you so you know he's in a he's, a he's in a different sort of learning period of his career at the minute where he's he's having to deal with being a mark man but he'll come through it and goals like tonight will help him you know um he's a great boy so he's taking information on and He'll come through it out the other side and just get better and better again. And I can't not ask you about the performance of Wes Fongut today. He's put in a, another great performance and capped it off with a brilliant goal. Brilliant goal. I know Wes has got that in him. You know, he's had a had a chance on Saturday that he'll know that he should have done better and he's had one or two stabs at goal in the first half that, you know, I expect Wes to score them, to be fair. I obviously work with him day in, day out. I see what he's like in front of the goal. But when he did have that chance and I was right behind it, it was a wonderful finish and... 2-0 is still not the most comfortable scoreline. I mean, I still wanted at 2-0 us to have a little bit more control in the game. It became a little bit basketball, you know, you attack, we attack. Um, but like I say, you know, to take three points and, and, and a clean sheet when you're not at your best, um, I'm happy enough with that.